Hello. In this episode, I'm going to explain the user interface of GovInspect. When you open the software for the first time, the software immediately shows you the start screen. You can either create a new project, open an existing project, or use a recently used project. A project is mandatory in order to work with GovInspect. You can get access to the GOM community to find further video tutorials and webinar recordings on the GOM Metrology YouTube channel, to download manuals, tutorials and training data, and you can join discussions in the forum or find frequently asked questions in the knowledge base. The release notes keep you updated on the constant improvements we make. If you would like to play with the software immediately and you have no data at hand, just click Sample Data. The software downloads the sample data and stores it on your hard drive automatically. In order to explain the user interface to you, I'm going to load one of the sample projects. So right in the center of everything, you have the 3D view displaying the data. You can turn the object with the left mouse button, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and pan the object by pressing the mouse wheel. To rotate to the left and right, press Shift and the left mouse button. Also click on the cube in the lower left corner to bring the 3D view to a standard or isometric view. On the left side of the main toolbar, you find the workspaces. Workspaces are dedicated to assignments, such as inspection, reporting and mesh editing. If you switch between the workspaces, the main toolbar above changes accordingly in order to supply you with the needed functionalities. Start brings you back to the start screen. The Overview Explorer contains a tree of all elements of your project, whether they have been imported or created during your inspection. Everything is clearly categorized and easy to find. If you want to view elements in the 3D view, just drag and drop them into the 3D view with the left mouse button. The elements will be displayed exclusively. If you drag and drop them with the right mouse button, you can decide if you would like to display an element exclusively or if you would like to show it in addition to your current content in the 3D view. The Sub Explorer contains additional information of elements in your project. Chosen elements display automatically the subcategories of the selected element. Related elements shows elements which have a strong connection with the chosen element, for example, if they had been used for the construction of the element. You can also use other categories like cat bodies to access individual bodies of your cats. Or you can check which elements have not been documented in a report page. A GOM inspect project can contain several alignments, which you can switch at any point. If you switch to another alignment, the software recalculates any element to its new state because an alignment influences all inspections. You can, of course, also create new alignments at any point in time. If you would like to view or change the properties, you have to enlarge the properties window. You can also do it with a tab key on your keyboard to access the properties more quickly. The content of the properties window is depending on the selected element. If you would like to change the display of the selected mesh to mesh structure, or if you would like to look inside the CAD data, use the slider for transparency. The toolbar contains various selection commands such as select on surface, select through surface and others. It also remembers recently used selection commands. You can also access the most important selection commands via the right mouse button in the 3D view. Please find more selection commands via Edit Selection in 3D. You can also customize the 3D toolbar to your needs. The bar at the bottom is called Timeline. It is only visible if you have loaded a stage project created with a professional version of the software. Each stage represents another part being measured. In this way, you can inspect several parts in one project even though you cannot create them in GOM inspect, but only in professional versions of the software. If you would like to find out more about a function, such as more detailed information about parameters, you can use the direct help. Just enter a term and the according results will be displayed. You can also use the question mark, which you find in every function dialog. 
Just click on it and the software opens the help for the corresponding function. You can also unpin the direct help and move it to another location or another screen. To pin it back, just drag and drop it on the search field. All templates like report pages or legend templates are stored in a skin. There are two default skins for inspection and deformation. Now, if you work with a project that has been created with a professional version of a GOM software, the skin might have been customized. In the next episode, I'm going to explain how to import data.